excited for what's to come in the next couple of months. Some of you have been asking about my matcha, like what happened to the matcha business, and launch days are always so nerve-wracking. What? There's no way it sold out already. package from milk makeup i'm like so shook that these brands still send things to me because do i even exist on the internet anymore i don't know Ooh, this one smells good these feel really good on my lips mm. okay okay like a certain thing you wanted to add on and then anything i know you added like and then post i love i'm really excited for what's to come in the next couple of months i have a lot of exciting new things planned this year for 64th circle like beyond ceramics because obviously not everybody is like interested in ceramics and ceramics is not cheap either it's kind of a luxury item to purchase especially when it's handmade it's not like you buy something that's factory made at urban outfitters it is it is a bit of a luxury i must say some of you have been asking about my matcha like what happened to the matcha business and it's still happening i'm expecting final shipments to come in at the end of this month freaking thank god hallelujah this whole matcha thing has been taking me like pretty much a full year now there was just a lot of delays and issues with my packaging manufacturer and then like the sampling process and the design process overseas is not quick at all and that's something i learned the hard way i'm rambling on but basically matcha is still happening and it will live under 64th circle so we have matcha on the way we have some fun merch and artwork coming planning an event as well because 64th circle is really about community and some of you who are in the la area can maybe join and meet some people so i have some events coming hopefully in april so be on the lookout for that and i'm actually going to check out a venue you today i just got picked up by vera she is actually gonna come with me to look at the venue hoping it's the first and the last because i really liked the photos i feel like this loft just has like all the vibes i'm looking for i just gotta check and see that everything is looking good and then i'll just probably go ahead and book <laughs> know what time it is it is time to eat with blue apron who is currently sponsoring today's video i've tried quite a few meal services and i've been on blue apron since november so i have some thoughts is it worth it i think it's important to point out who blue apron is for people with busy schedules people who want to learn how to cook and people who simply want to save time and money on eating out in my opinion blue apron is the superior meal kit service because compared to other services that i've tried i noticed that they have a greater variety of meals across way more cuisines and diets. They also have more variety in proteins, like in the types of cuts they include. Another thing for me is that Blue Apron meals are actually quick to make and the recipes require less effort than some of the other services I've tried. So is Blue Apron worth it? It's definitely worth it for me. And if you want to give Blue Apron a try, you can use the link in my bio to get 50% off the first week of your subscription. This is my favorite one so far. Mm. Don't judge me. I still 
have not switched from a New York to California license. There was a part of me that really didn't want to let go of the New York residency, but it is time because my license is expiring. So I'm going to face my fears and actually deal with the DMV this morning. And I'm probably going to have to take a new photo. So I did my makeup today. <laughs> All done and that was really fast actually i came at 8 50 right before they opened at 9 and there were actually a lot of people already like inside doing their thing i had also already filled out all of my applications paid and did everything i could online before coming here so i think that helped speed up the process including taking the written test which i had to do because my license expired so yeah i officially have a California license, y'all. In California, you're not allowed to smile, so I had to look mean. I'm running out of a bunch of errands and I'm heading to the bank to get some cash because I'm actually going to Korea next week. I've always wanted to solo trip, but I've been too afraid to. And I feel like Korea is the only place that I'm comfortable to solo trip because at least I can somewhat speak the language. actually had my first big brand client. TikTok's internal team ordered a small batch of the sardines for Lunar New Year. So I made them like a special custom edition and that just got so much hype because there's so much demand for it. I wanna give some people a chance to buy them. Although I can't make as many as I would like, I do wanna put something out there. I'm hoping to launch that and have all that done by Friday. I wasn't even planning to do this until Monday. So that gives you a little idea of how rushed this timeline is because normally this process takes weeks. I'm so grateful that I literally get to do art for work, but six months ago, I would have never believed that this is what I'd be doing. Life is just really random and serendipitous and honestly i always surprise myself with the things that i end up doing and although ceramics is like a super labor intensive job i don't really mind because i'm like truly having fun with it and the fact that there's demand for my work so early on is just such a blessing i'm just like what do i really have to complain about life is too short to do things that are not fulfilling and I'm a huge advocate of like literally just going after what brings you joy it's another morning the final opening moment of truth I came out gorgeous If you guys remember from one of my previous videos, this is what I shoot my <laughs> product photography in, this little light box that I got off of Amazon. This is just like the perfect size and it's easy to store away and it's just a little powerhouse. needed makeup hairpins. He really has to smell and lick everything. Eyeliner gel, smell and lick. Earring, smell and lick. Brush, smell and lick. Bro, a little pouch, smell and lick. I am going to the Freeze LA Art Exhibit today. I don't know why I always have like little sprouts on my head. 
and I was invited by Poiré, which is a very luxe skincare and makeup brand in Korea and they are one of the major sponsors for Freeze. Yay, thanks to them, I get to go. So I didn't realize that this was gonna be like so huge. Like I knew Freeze was like a big thing, but it's like almost like Coachella. There's like golf carts, people being shuttled to the actual entrance. <laughs> within 30 minutes of getting here. I am opening up shop in six minutes. Launch days are always so nerve-wracking. <sighs> just look how cute this looks. All three colors just lined up right here. One of the best feelings is like seeing all of your hard work finally up and live running on the site. It's almost like a digital gallery for like everything you've made. Seeing all the products together right now is really cool. We have three minutes to go. This is exactly what I will be looking like when I open up the shop. It's live. We're live. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. I'm getting comments saying that it's sold out. Wait, what? There's no way it's sold out already. Everything is gone. It's literally been two minutes. Everything is gone. How does that make sense? Now I'm almost like, did I do something wrong? Why did it, that doesn't sound right. Oh my God. I will say though that this drop was pretty small because it was rushed and I wanted to get something done before I go to Korea tomorrow. I don't do these low quantities on purpose. It's just the nature of, you know, having a handmade business. Like there's just no way that I can pump out that much quantity. Um, so I'm kind of doing what I can, but I do truly feel bad for the people who really want to purchase something and like, I just don't have the stock available. So at some point in the future, I'm gonna have to figure out how to like maybe outsource this or something, but Guys, we sold out in two minutes. That's freaking insane. I'm just so grateful for all the love on these silly little sardines that have been consuming my life lately in the best way possible. I think I'm gonna try packing all the orders today and then wrap up this vlog right here. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.